Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Happy Monday to you. I'm meteorologist Brian James. Boy, a cool day today, cloudy, showery. We're going to keep that kind of weather around through about the middle part of the week, and then we'll see things improve as we head toward next weekend. So a few more showers possible through about Wednesday or so. It is going to be cool until we get to later on in the week, but the next weekend looks nicer. Get out there and enjoy a beautiful fall weekend by next weekend. we got to get there, though. Tuesday, Wednesday, look at this. Clouds, a few scattered showers will be possible. Could have a few wet snowflakes mixed in in a few spots. Not out of the realm of possibility, but for the next couple of days, pretty much just low to mid and a few upper 40s. Uh, well, I'll talk about when we warm back up here in just a second, but it's cool across the entire region. Berlin at 41, Utica at 43, Campbell at 45, back to the west, Buffalo 49, 55 in Harrisburg. And there are a few breaks in the clouds trying to develop back to the west and northwest. We'll still see a mostly to partly cloudy sky. Here's the main part of that upper level storm system. Off to the east and northeast of us, getting the wraparound showers. And there's still some more wraparound showers back to the west and southwest. Of us, so we'll have a chance for a few more showers as we head through the next couple of days, but not great rain chances. I mean, they're really going to drop off. So about a 20, 30 percent chance for a few scattered showers as we go through the next couple of days, and then generally drier as we head toward the weekend into the early part of next week. Should be in the upper 50s this time of year. We're going to be way below that for tomorrow and Wednesday, but then near normal for Thursday. Then look at this. By the weekend, we're talking mid-60s, maybe even low 70s by next Tuesday. We will start to cool down again middle part of next week. We do have a nicer stretch of weather, and it does include the weekend, so something to look forward to. Futurecast for tonight. You can see some breaks in some of the clouds. Low clouds will redevelop those we head toward tomorrow morning, so we'll start the day cloud cloudy and maybe areas of fog as well. Temperatures in the mid-30s. A few more scattered showers could pop up in a few spots, but again, the coverage is going to be hit and miss at best. 46 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow. Yeah, still on the chilly side. A few more showers as we go through Tuesday evening by Wednesday morning. We're down in the mid-30s once again, and a few spots could have a couple snowflakes or a few rain showers, rain snow showers possible, and then back to mid-40s for a high Wednesday afternoon, trying to break up some of that cloud cover late in the day. We'll have to wait till probably later in the week to get more sunshine and get some warmer temperatures back in here. For tonight, down near freezing in most locations, low to mid-30s across the area with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Winds will be light from the northwest, so not much of an additional wind chill for tonight. Tomorrow, cool, blustery, a mostly cloudy sky, and a chance for a few scattered showers around here and there. Upper 30s to mid 40s, that's all we'll have for highs. Take a look at the seven day forecast. Warmer days are ahead. A couple scattered showers around tomorrow and Wednesday. Otherwise, a cloudy sky with highs only in the mid 40s. But then mid 50s are back, low to mid 60s as we head toward the end of the weekend. Weekend, look at that weekend. A good deal of sunshine, mostly sunny to partly cloudy with highs in the mid 60s. Not too shabby at all. Something to look forward to, especially after the gray, gloomy weather we've had around for today. Back to you. Definitely looking forward to that sunshine. Thank you. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 6, Columbus Day and... A now, your Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Happy Monday night to you. I'm meteorologist Brian James. We'll have a chance for a few more scattered showers hanging around tomorrow and also on Wednesday. And, of course, that means we're going to keep things on the cloudy and cool side as well. But we do have some warmer weather coming back as we head toward the weekend. It is going to be cool until we get to the latter part of the week, but the weekend does look nicer with some sunshine. Not going to see any sunshine tomorrow if we do a brief look. Otherwise, cloudy sky to start with, temperatures in the mid-30s to begin the day, and only in the mid-40s in the afternoon could be a few widely scattered showers around. Most of us will just see a cloudy sky, but only mid-40s in the afternoon. And over the next couple of days, we're going to muster mid to upper 40s, and that's pretty much it. Low to mid upper 40s could have a few wet snowflakes mix in a couple of isolated showers even those who do see the showers though talking about light amounts of any of uh, any rainfall we do see albany at that uh, 43 same thing in scranton uh, back to the west buffalo 46 detroit 45 radar and satellite shows a few isolated to widely scattered showers you back out to more of a regional view here's that upper level storm system well to our north and east we have the counterclockwise circulation that pocket of cold air aloft that colder air Passing over the relatively warmer waters of the Great Lakes, you can see a few uh, lake enhanced showers off of Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Erie, Ontario, all of them generating a few isolated showers, even a few coming off of Lake Superior in the UP of Michigan. And our rain chances generally stay low, about a 20, 30 percent chance for a few of those scattered showers, and then generally dry as we head through the rest of the week into the weekend, and that's also when we start to warm back up. So uh, mid 40s for the next couple of days, well below normal. Normal high is at 58. We'll be close to normal back by Thursday. And then look at Friday, Saturday, Sunday, low to mid 60s. 
Yeah, we'll take that with some sunshine, even mid to upper 60s as we head toward uh, Monday, Tuesday, low 70s, and then we start to cool back down a little bit as we head through the middle part of next week. Futurecast overnight tonight, you can see some of the clouds and a few more of those lake-enhanced showers coming off of uh, Lake Ontario. 36 as we uh, start the day on Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, a few widely scattered showers possible here and there. Again, some of those come up, coming off of Lake Ontario. 46 degrees uh, for the high temperature. For Wednesday, we start with a few showers. Again, mainly back toward the west, a little closer to where that fetch off the water is certainly going to be a little bit more prevalent. 35 to start the day, then in the afternoon we start to get a little more dry air in, so we break up some of that cloud cover with temperatures again topping out mostly in the mid 40s. Overnight tonight, low to mid 30s, close to the freezing mark in many spots, but the cloud cover will help keep temperatures up a little bit. Could be a stray shower, but chance for a few more scattered showers tomorrow, especially the farther west you live. Northwest winds at 10 to 15, highs only upper 30s to mid 40s. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be blustery wind chill values down in the 30s most of the day tomorrow. And it's probably on Wednesday as well, same thing, but by Thursday into Friday, we're looking for highs to climb back into the mid 50s to low 60s and mid 60s over the weekend with a good deal of sunshine, certainly a lot more sun than cloud cover. Something to look forward to after our cool and blustery and showery start to the week. Get some sunshine back in here by the weekend. Back to you. Thank you, Brian. Eyewitness Sports Director Gretchen Beyer joins us now with the latest from our professional teams. Gretchen? We've got a busy night of New York sports. I've got what you need to know when Eyewitness Sports continues. Witness News is brought to you by Not. Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Happy Monday night to you. I'm meteorologist Brian James. We'll have a chance for a few more scattered showers hanging around tomorrow and also on Wednesday. And of course, that means we're going to keep things on the cloudy and cool side as well. But we do have some warmer weather coming back as we head toward the weekend. It is going to be cool until we get to the latter part of the week, but the weekend does look nicer with some sunshine. Not going to see any sunshine tomorrow if we do a brief look. Otherwise, cloudy sky to start with temperatures in the mid-30s to begin the day. And only in the mid-40s in the afternoon could be a few widely scattered showers around. Most of us will just see a cloudy sky, but only mid-40s in the afternoon. And over the next couple of days, we're going to muster mid to upper 40s, and that's pretty much it. Low to mid and upper 40s could have a few wet snowflakes mix in, a couple of isolated showers. Even those who do see the showers, though, talking about light amounts of any, of any rainfall we do see. Albany at 43, same thing in Scranton. Uh, back to the west, Buffalo, 46. Detroit, 45. Radar and satellite shows a few isolated to widely scattered showers. You back out to more of a regional view. Here's that upper-level storm system. Well, to our north and east, we have the counterclockwise circulation, that pocket of cold air aloft, that colder air. Passing over the relatively warmer waters of the Great Lakes, you can see a few uh, lake-enhanced showers off of Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, Erie, Ontario, all of them generating a few isolated showers, even a few coming off of Lake Superior in the UP of Michigan. And our rain chances generally stay low, about a 20-30% chance for a few of those scattered showers, and then generally dry as we head through the rest of the week into the weekend, and that's also when we start to warm back up. So uh, mid-40s for the next couple of days, well below normal. Normal high is at 58. We'll be close to normal back by Thursday. And then look at Friday, Saturday, Sunday, low to mid-60s. Yeah, we'll take that with some sunshine, even mid to upper 60s as we head toward uh, Monday, Tuesday, low 70s. And then we start to cool back down a little bit as we head through the middle part of next week. Futurecast overnight tonight, you can see some of the clouds and a few more of those lake-enhanced showers coming off of uh, Lake Ontario. 36 as we uh, start the day on Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, a few widely scattered showers possible here and there. Again, some of those come up, coming off of Lake Ontario. 46 degrees uh, for the high temperature. For Wednesday, we start with a few showers, again, mainly back toward the west, a little closer to where that fetch off the water is certainly going to be a little bit more prevalent. 35 to start the day, then in the afternoon we start to get a little more dry air in, so we break up some of that cloud cover with temperatures again topping out mostly in the mid-40s. Overnight tonight, low to mid-30s, close to the freezing mark in many spots, 
but the cloud cover will help keep temperatures up a little bit. Could be a stray shower, but chance for a few more scattered showers tomorrow, especially the farther west you live. Northwest winds at 10 to 15, highs only upper 30s to mid 40s. And it's going to be cool. It's going to be blustery wind chill values down in the 30s most of the day tomorrow. And it's probably on Wednesday as well, same thing. But by Thursday into Friday, we're looking for highs to climb back into the mid 50s to low 60s and mid 60s over the weekend with a good deal of sunshine. Certainly a lot more sun than cloud cover. Something to look forward to after our cool and blustery and showery start to the week. Get some sunshine back in here by the weekend. Back to you. Thank you, Brian. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, Columbus Day and Indigenous.